Hello, so our challenge or prompt for this week is um, making patterns with watercolours and I wanted to show you a way that you could um, make uh, a little accordion book that you could then um, create kind of a little um, resource of marks that you like to make in paint. So these are offcuts that I've got from making books with square pages. Uh, they're the end bit of a piece of A4 paper where I've cut um, a 21 centimeter square, and they measure 21 centimeters by nearly six and a half, which is somewhere around um, eight and five sixteenths of an inch and two and a half inches. Now, all I do with these is I fold them in half. I match up the corners quite well and then I fold them into the middle so into half again and really this should work with any size rectangle that you've got so any scraps you've got that are the, the same size rectangle I've got a little heap of these at the same size I do that a few times I'll make another one here just so I can show you the next little bit. I've grabbed out a bone folder. This is a new one. It's not as nice as my actual one that I really love, which is this one, which is a bit smaller. I'm just using it to help um, kind of get the creases nice and flat. Before I had a bone folder, I used to use the handles of my scissors many, many moons ago. And um, my ruler sometimes. And my thumb, just like that. <laughs> would do in a bush so what I do then is I simply grab some double sided tape you could use glue and I just double sided tape oops, on one and I pop the pages kind of exactly on top of each other just like that so let's zoom out a tiny bit because that's got bigger now. So that you end up then with a little accordion book. And you can make that with as many layers as you like. And as long as you don't stick anything to this last one, you can always add another lot of layers to it. So that would be my front cover. What I often do is I add um, a brad or a fastener there. See if I can grab a little pot somewhere in the back of here. There we go. So just grab one of these out of here. What have I got? Here we go. One of these will do just fine. And I add one of these on. Now I'm terrible at getting these to go through, so I usually use an awl. So roughly where I want it to be poke a little hole so I can push my brad through and then open it out on the back if I could, uh, I've been working on various things today and I've got all kinds of ink and goodness knows what off my nails so um, I would generally Double sided sellotape, um, some paper to that, just so that it's not going to um, catch and move. And for ease, I'm just going to match it up there, like that, press it down, and then just cut along with my scissors. So this one now is just a, a scrap piece of paper that I can use for little bits like that. And then I would grab some embroidery thread. Uh, and you just want something that will go around a few times. So I'll take it around about four. Oh, this is really good to do with a good sharpen. And then what I tend to do, I put it around the brad like that. And I tie a knot just so the um, thread isn't going to come off and I'll do a double knot 
and then I just take that, wrap it round and wrap it around the brad to hold it shut and then once I've actually finished with the book depending on how thick it gets I cut this off to a reasonable kind of length but then inside you've got your first page to work on so let's zoom in and my aim this week is that I'm going to try and put one mark into here each day just clearing up where I'm working I've lost the little plastic bit that goes on the end of my Oh, which I quite like having because it's quite stabby and I'm really good at stabbing myself in the finger with things so let's see if we can pop that back in I am going to just grab um, a colour really doesn't matter what colour particular to me I've got um, what looks like a little bit of uh, green in the middle I'm going to go for another green that sits on the top the moment I'm not sure why this particular green is out it's a lovely green and I'm going to paint some marks and I'm just looking for a brush that I want to use um, I think I'm actually going to go for a super fine brush perhaps unless I can see Ooh, what's that one mm, no. <laughs> Oh, that's still super fine. I'm looking for my um, triple zero spotter, but I can't see it at the moment. I just keep pulling out really small ones. I'll go with this one. I'm going to leave that side for now. To go here. Now, as you can see, this one does some odd little things. One of the marks that I really love is this one which is a line and then even more little lines these are obviously marks that you can make with um, a pen but we're making them with a paintbrush and paint and so we can collect all kinds of marks and patterns that we can make in here with paint. And the fun thing about this one is that it can, when you do short kind of um, lines like I'm doing, looks a lot like pine tree um, branches. If you make them longer, and alter the kind of shape of the outside a little you can make it look like feathers it's quite a versatile little mark one I really like to play with and I kind of I do really like um, I like how it has a little bit of a sense of openness to it as well so if I were doing this and I wasn't talking to you guys then I would set my mindful intention and we've kind of said that we want to focus on being present and slowing down and so I haven't been particularly slow doing these so I'm going to try and invite myself to do that with the last few that I do and really slow down and see how that feels feels really different actually much more deliberate I quite like the feeling of really being present that I get when it's slower which is quite interesting. I think sometimes I can get caught up in finishing the pattern, finishing what I'm doing. So, 
my invitation to you this week and our prompt for the group is 2x law patterns you can make using watercolours and a brush or any other tool that you fancy really and slowing down a little now I am going for kind of um, mark making rather than the idea of um, an all over repeating pattern and painting like I don't know lots of birds or foxes or anything like that when I'm saying pattern for this prompt we mean something that also is making marks with our brush not painting a repeated object a lot of times um, in the way that you might put I don't know loads of mushrooms I'm not going for things deliberately but you could I guess I'm looking more for patterns that I could put on top or incorporate into things and more playing with line is what I'm going to probably do in the book but I'm sure it might expand to mushrooms and other bits of loveliness there's lots of dinging going on and part of that is because I am trying to do this so that I can get it uploaded for everybody tomorrow just before I head to bed and actually if I can get myself to slow down enough, this is a great preparation for bed. I'm kind of really loving how that little page looks. I really enjoy this colour green, Appetite Green, it's Daniel Smith colour. And just so that you can see the kind of context of the size of um, my little book, here is a Posca pen. So, it's just a bit shorter than the length of a Posca pen. So I hope you enjoy that and I hope you join me whether you choose to make a little accordion book to collect your patterns in or whether you choose to do it on um, cards. Do join in with a prompt this week and if you want to post up what you've done, post that up. If you don't want to share pictures of what you've done, that's absolutely fine. Just post up a post to say that you've done it and how you found it. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been really supportive of people who are sharing in the group and all of the lovely messages and support I'm getting from you. I really appreciate them. So take care, enjoy this prompt and I'll speak to you soon.